Alright guys, here we are back for the finals. Uh, we are on the play. And we will keep. Yeah, we have two lands, Wall of Omens. Should be fine. Our opponent was talking to us in between rounds. Was a friend of the stream. So wish him good luck and then hopefully crush him. Amiria go. Watery grave. Blue cards. This is what I want to see. Serum visions me? Nothing. Alright. Don't spell snare me, bro. Lone missionaries are not what I want to see. Island would be a great draw here. Alright, Grixis. Grixis control with Jace. Ugh, a man after my own heart. Oy, there's no way I can kill this Jace. All right, looks like we are uh, Court Hussaring, looking for a land. I think this is a pretty good matchup. Every time I've played against this deck, that, like the blue-white deck, I've been playing it from his side. And uh, from the Grixis control side, and I always lose. So I think we can take the planes here. We can... Um, He's going to flip his Jace, so like there's no there's no point to get it, grab a path to exile. He can grab our mortar pot, I guess. Our yeah, our plan is resolve Sun Titan. Getting to kind of flood the board with the lone missionaries will be pretty good. He can answer both of them with an electrolyze, but yeah, I think grabbing the land was right there. I mean, grabbing Path of Exile is like Delve Creature Insurance, but I think we just need to like keep hitting land drops. Without his Jace on the field, it'd be a completely different game, but like Jace is really, really good for him here. Then again, if he had another black source, he could like Inquisition flip, J uh, you know, take the mortar pod, flip Jace, fl uh, flashing back Inquisition to like take my path to exile. Had I kept, had I grabbed the path to exile, Jason discard spells. I'm glad you guys are saying this. Those of you that aren't on the Jace train in modern, he is insane. Yeah, so unfortunately we have to cast these lone missionaries. We can't, uh, oh, he's just going to cast a Dove Creature right now. All right, then. We can't, like, sit back on the Ojatai's command, hoping he's just going to cast a Dove Creature into it. One, he's already seen the Ojatai's command, and two, he can just keep pulsing Jace. So, like, we have to cast these lone missionaries into this tasker, which feels pretty bad, but... We're kind of forced into it. Alright, so our opponent takes his turn again. Never blocking ever. Man, he has a Gurmag too. That'd be the only explanation I could think for him attacking with the Tasker there. Oh, just another Jace. Alright, I guess that's fine.
Attack your Jace. No. That's unfortunate. I don't know if we can actually let that happen. I mean, we can use this opportunity to like cash in our Oshitai's command. Like, we could just like return the little missionary draw card. That doesn't seem that good. Hmm, this is interesting. Um. I think I'm going to negate it just because I need to start getting, you know, I need to start like hitting this Jace. I know that he can just like, sure, whatever, like go to five next turn, flashback, a bolt, kill a lone missionary, and then flip his Jace to like replace this one and then start pulsing again. Like, I'm going to die to his Jace Vrin Vrin's Prodigy this game. It doesn't seem like there's a way around that unless I can possibly get Sun Titan online. Which means maybe I just want to be cycling Oshitai's command as quick as possible, but I feel like I still have to try and fight the Jace. Hmm, that's close. Uh, I'm going to block with the Wall of Omens here. My hope is that I can hit a land next turn and I can Sun Titan bringing back Wall of Omens. Yep. Alright, so he's gonna kill the lone missionary, flip his chase, lock down my other lone missionary. Um, he could start activating Tasker, but he has like Inquisition of Kozilek in the yard that I can give him. So I'm not worried about that. Sweet. All right. You just block some flips, maybe. Flips another. Discards another Jace. Jeez. He has Mana Leak and Cryptic Command. I'm gonna let him take his turn. End of turn, Ojedi's Command as just like a four mana draw to. Right, I'm gonna do it now. Plain Supreme Verdict is not what I was looking for, but I guess that gets the Tasker off the table. a pretty good draw it's a really good draw all right I'll take it
<laughs> um, okay, so... Yeah, I think we just want a wall of omens. Maybe we want to go for the Cortisar there. It sacrifices itself when it comes into play, but he's not going to be swinging. Interesting. Interesting the way the creature sizing lines up, though, with uh, the Jace plus on Sun Titan, and then he can block with Tassiger. Huh. I guess there's an argument for, like, not casting Sun Titan that turn and just, like, using the Supreme Verdict to get the Tassiger off the table. But the thing is, like, he cast the Inquisition, so we can just give him the Inquisition again. Um, not really worried. Like, at this point, he doesn't really gain... I guess he gains a little bit of value because he could uh, use Tassigur to try and mill over a Terminate and then Jace to uh, flashback that Terminate to kill my Sun Titan. But if he does that, then I can just Supreme Verdict. I'm at the point to where I'm almost at seven lands anyway, so as long as I don't die to a Jace ultimate, um, I should just be able to keep recurring Sun Titans, and it should be a good enough end game against my opponent. But let's see what he did with this Scry. Bottom, bottom. He drew another Inquisition. Ah, you got my low missionary. You got me. Spell bomb is good. I'm drawing. I'm, look, man, I'm drawing pretty well. It is what it is. So we'll return the mortar pod and we'll kill his Jace. That seems pretty good. That lets our Sun Titan attack into his Tasker next turn and puts him on a two turn clock. I love this deck. How quickly things change. All right, and that was game one. Not bad. We beat a very good Jace draw. We drew pretty well, but we beat a very good Jace draw. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like that has to be said. Um, so Sco Stone Cloaker, I guess, is all right in this matchup. It saves a guy from removal, and it can, like, counter a Snapcaster Mage. So it seems fine. Uh, Meddling Mage seems poor. He just has a whole bunch of removal. Spreading Seas actually seems not bad. Um, we're cutting our mana leaks, we're cutting our mortar pods, Path to Exile seems great, um, Oshai's Command seems fine, Potential Sphere seems great because he doesn't have any answers to it. Yeah, I like Spreading Seas. I could also see just having the fourth lone missionary. I could also see having zero lone missionary. Um, but I think this is a good enough number. I might play one leak. Let me keep one verdict. Maybe I play all my verdicts. I'm gonna play it like that. Yeah, he's playing Jaces that I want to be able to kill.
All right, so on the draw, we have Hallowed Fountain, Planes, a Spell Bomb that can cycle, Wall of Omens, Dispel, Supreme Verdict, this guy, which we can hopefully find a use for. Ah, he's fine. He's just going to die to a Lightning Bolt, but... Um, I guess if he picks up a Wall of Omens, that's not bad. Um, and maybe he can uh, do some tricks with Snapcaster Mage. We'll see. He kept, we would keep. Assuming we hit our third land, our uh, our hands just got like a lot of synergy. Like the Wall of Omens helps us find a land for Pilgrim's Eye, which helps us find a land for Supreme Verdict, which lets us Stone Cloaker plus to spell to pick up our Wall of Omens to play it again to draw another card. Lots of lots of cool little interactions that work together. Um, so we split his first scry, and then his second scry is. Something, something. The first one's on top. And... The second one's on top. All right. All right. I just want to play this Wall of Omens. I just can't wait. I'm just like, come on, come on. Give me my turn. I want to play my Wall of Omens. Let's go. He knows. He's like, I know you want to play your Wall of Omens. I'm just going to drag it out so you can't play your Wall of Omens. <laughs> It was fun. It was lots of fun. Now we get to play Pilgrim's Eye. No! Don't take my Pilgrim's Eye. Don't do it, man. I guess he takes Stone Cloaker. Which is interesting. Uh, so we're going to play Hallowed Fountain. Uh, get an island. That way, in case we draw like a negate, we can play the... Uh, uh, island and have two blue up to like to spell plus negate. Bitter blossom. I think now the black cliff cliffs. Yeah, he's he's not playing my list because um, he's playing black cliff cliffs and like main deck inquisition. Bitter blossom is fun. Probably going to be bringing in Celestial Purge now that we know that he's on Bitter Blossom. It hits, uh, it still hits Tassiger, so. And Creeping Tar Pit, so it has a fair amount of targets. The cool thing is, though, is that we're able to, like, drag the game out long enough, and uh, I think we ended up cutting our lone missionaries, but just, like, things like Supreme Verdict and Aether Spell Bomb and, like, Incidental Life Gain and uh, the, like, Mortar Pod interactions, which we cut, um, but, like, all those little thingies that we have can actually uh, end up pushing the game longer than he plans on it going, 
um, to where the bitter blossom can actually become a liability. Um, we do need to be able to like get a few hits in though for that to matter. Uh, like it doesn't. I don't think if the bitter blossom is on the battlefield for 15 turns, I don't think we're winning that game. Um, but if we're able to like do maybe five to them, we might be able to get somewhere. But this is interesting. I think we're just gonna go ahead and go for the verdict. I don't want him to be able to flip his chase. Yeah, he blocks every day. Every day he's blocking. Play the island, because he knows about it. We're just gonna kill his Jace. Now we're in the situation where because we have this double blue, if he follows this up with a delve creature, we can bounce it and then Ochtai's command when he goes to cast it again. We're a mana short from being able to like bounce it, Ochtai's command, and a spell, but like we would need an extra blue source. We can still like be okay by like taking a hit from a Gurmag Angler and then like end of turn bounce. If he wants to counter that, then we can dispel it, and then we can like Ochtai's command when he wants to play it the following turn. Um, so in a sense, like giving us, I don't, it's not really giving us a mana, but uh, like taking a hit from the creature for a turn so we can bounce it on his end step um to where he can't just like replay it again in the main phase so we're not like aether spell bomb and then immediately have to ojai's command it from like you know coming back down again um so we call against command kill the spell bomb return to jace which is pretty good uh we're going to play planes and pass so we are going to counter his Jace, return Wall of Omens, which does nothing against his fairies. Um, but we do have another verdict once like his fairies start to get troublesome. <laughs> I think he knows about this Ojas command. Maybe he doesn't. Oh, sees. Well, that stinks. I guess we're just going to cast this. Just trade it in for two cards. He can take one, but... So he might take this a spell. He might just take this. I guess he could take the Supreme Verdict just because there's one in the yard that leaves us with like one left in our deck. Yeah, just the Cortisar is probably the strongest individual card just because it like, you know, gets us three looks at whatever we're digging for. We're still a few turns off from uh, um, Amiria. Passing the turn back. Yeah, we can Verdict holding up to Spell. We have a Negate for like a Liliana that I don't think he's playing. He could like Polygon's Command. Um, we know we're Verdicting. Yeah, I think we just Verdict play Amiria. We're three planes off of uh, getting Amiria online and starting to return things. We're still at a pretty healthy life total. I guess he could get a creeping tar pit hit in here if he wanted. 
which is probably good for him. Looks like he's going to go for a Delve Creature instead. Yep. Definitely wish I had a um, Celestial Purge that I could draw into. But uh, assuming this does go to a Game 3, we'll have it for Game 3. Oh, Sun Titan. Yes, love me some Sun Titan. Too bad we don't have a fetch. Alright. We could return the Stone Cloaker, picking Sun Titan back up. I think I want Sun Titan out there, basically to just like abyss his fairies. Um, Wall of Omens doesn't really do much for us. I think I actually kind of like Pilgrim's Eye. It's a it's a body that matters and it gets us a land which we want. So I think I like Pilgrim's Eye. Why? Yes, I would love my free land. Thank you very much. And we even have the Dispel back up. We are in good shape here. Like our opponent could have Terminate Snapcaster. <laughs> but we're just one more planes away from like just being able to keep recurring Sun Titan. And I don't think my opponent can beat that. He will, he's just going to die to his own Bitter Blossom. Island is not what I wanted to see. He could animate Tar Pit and uh, get in for some good damage here. Yeah, which is definitely better than him like trying to activate Tassiger. Not only does he have a Thought Seize in the yard, but like he can't really fight my late game. He just wants to try and get me dead. So four, seven, eight, nine. This puts me to five. This is good for him. He had that. He had the third Terminate, <clears throat> which is what he needed. This is where I wish I had like a Snapcaster or something to draw into, so I could Supreme Verdict. Another Sun Titan. It's not bad. Be able to pay for leak. So what are we doing? Oh no, we played the island. Ugh. If we got Pilgrim's Eye and got a planes and played the planes, now nah, we would die to his tar pit. I think we need to get back uh I think we need to get back Spell Bomb. Yeah, we still might lose this one. It's actually interesting. I guess he could animate Swing Out. And we're forced into um, bouncing his tar pit. But then, like, if we draw a path for his fairy, he's actually dead. I think he knows we have this negate. Just because, like, so net, so if we can, like, get rid of a blocker, we can hit him to one, and then he dies to his bitter blossom trigger. Um, so, but I think he can just animate tar pit, leave one fairy back, 
swing with two fairies in the tar pit. We just bounce the tar pit. Um, like, so he's representing lethal, which forces us to bounce the uh, tar pit and go to two. Yeah, this is, if we draw Path to Exile, oh, well, I guess he has Task here that can block two. Yeah, so I guess this is fine. I think he played the Delta this turn, though. Maybe he didn't. No, he is still dead if we draw Path, because we'll get the attack trigger and be able to return Spell Bomb. Um, and then, uh, so like, the Spell Bomb bounce plus Path would kill him. Assuming he has nothing. But we still have, like, the mana and the negate. So, like, Path is, uh, Path kills him here. That is not Path. All right, what can we do? I guess we can dig three cards deep. We could Sun Titan, bringing back Stone Cloaker to bounce our Sun Titan, play Sun Titan, bringing back Spell Bomb, but we're still taking three. We're at two. No, he didn't. No, he didn't play the Tar Pit. Okay. So we can attack with Sun Titan. Bringing back Spell Bomb. Bounce a Fairy. He has to block with his Tassiger. The next turn we take three. But if we if we attack, bringing back Stone Cloaker, returning the Sun Titan, and then we just play Sun Titan again. No, we're still dead. Oh, my webcam is frozen. It's probably been frozen forever. What is the play? I guess we could Cortosar looking for a lone missionary. I thought we boarded all of them out though. I guess we could Cortosar looking for our last supreme verdict. I think, yeah, I think that's our only play. We probably should have grabbed wall. This forces him to block with a fairy. Instead of the Tasker, and he saves a fairy. Yeah, we should have uh we should have got um the wall of omens. This doesn't help us, so we just need to dig for the for the last Supreme Verdict, even though it's like very unlikely that we draw it, we still need to play towards it. He knows we have this negate. This was close. We barely lost it. See if it was there. Wasn't there. Alright. Game three. So we know we want the purge. Um, I don't think we want disenchant. Um, on the play, I could see bringing in Lone Missionary if he's like on the, uh, um, it's like, 
I don't really want Lone Missionary when I'm on this like long game plan, but he has to race, like he has to try and race me because he can't fight my long game. So it's possible, Stone Cloaker seems bad. It's possible we just cut the mana leak and we just want like, you know, Lone Missionary and we just like try and get aggressive. When I've, I've tried the beatdown plan against Grixis Control after board and it's actually worked pretty well. Just like the life gain helps us get to our top end, which he can't beat. And then he has to like spend resources trying to like deal with these guys, uh, which actually hit pretty hard when you get one or two of them out early. These negates are okay, but not the best. I think, I'm, I, think I still want access to, to sweepers. On the play. Yep. Keep it. Hopefully, he plays Tar Pit, settles in for the long game. Hopefully, he doesn't go discard spell. No! <laughs> He might just take Detention Sphere just because it's a really strong answer. Depending on his makeup, like the makeup of his hand, if he has like Colgan's commands and stuff. He might not care about this lone missionary. I took the Dispel. Interesting. Aha. Uh -huh. I don't know. With double thoughts, he is, I think, I don't know. He can just, like, you know, Coligon's command and something else to handle this low missionary, and he might not care. But with him starting at basically 14, it's not bad. Don't spell snare me, bro. Don't do it. All right. Yeah, so I'm happy with my spot. I have a path to exile for his dude. I can keep hitting him. Like, he's trading resources, which I'm fine with. Because that means the game's going to be going longer. Like, I'm at a super healthy life total. We're going to go ahead and path this now. That way, like, if he's got, like, a dispel or something, we can, like, Supreme Verdict. The important thing is not letting the Jace flip, because once it flips, it's really hard to get rid of it, because it's got super high loyalty. Yeah, we got the Purge. We have an answer for his delve creature. He's ahead of us on mana now, but not really that worried about that. Little missionary's done four damage already this game. Bring in the beats. That's the thing, right? Like, he probably cuts his lightning bolts against me. They just don't seem that good. So if he gets to play a Tasker here and he has a counter spell for my Purge, he can stabilize. 
Doesn't look like he has it. Could Cole Guns command in my upkeep? Yep, which I'm fine with. So we'll discard this Supreme Verdict, I think. Now we're kind of hoping we can draw into something. Yep, yeah, he's he kept his bolts in. He's looking for creatures. Sure, he can take one of those. Not good. It's bad news, coach. That's not helpful. All right, Jace flips. The best he can do is Thought Scour. I guess he could Inquisition take my Purge and then, you know, either start hitting me with Tar Pit or drop a Delve Creature if he found one. He's just gonna go the plus route, try and go for Ultimate, I guess. That's not good. All right, Sun Titans, where you at? Supreme Verdict isn't helpful. Lone Missionary, our savior. This guy. So we can make us discard the Supreme Verdict. Kill our lone missionary. We gain that four life though. Yeah. So Jace gets the ultimate and then he's got a pretty quick clock from there. Bottom top. All right, another lone missionary.
not my gifts ungiven. Ooh. Okay. Might have a shot. See if we can get him to block. There's the block. Resolves. Yes. All right. Uh, we're going to return the detention sphere, popping its bitter blossom, so he doesn't have blockers. And then we're going to try and race his mill, but he can cast a lot of spells. Oh, that terminate. Why? If we can if we can get him to flood. Kronos. Okay. That's a gigantic thing. Draws are not doing well. He had the terminate. Um, I guess he can have a thought seize. Nice. Yeah, so one more spell will uh will win it for him. Pop a star pit, I guess. <laughs> Come on. Not the Emiria. Blood crypt. There it is. Alright, milled out by Jace Ultimate. Um, yeah, so this game was close. I don't know. Uh, felt like he was just able to, like, you know, control the pace of the game with his discard and, um, you know, dismantle me from there. But, um, yeah, the deck seems sweet. Uh, I feel like my blue control matchup is pretty good. Um, and we just didn't quite get there. But, uh, yeah, it is what it is. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, as always, uh, you can uh, check uh, um, you can check me out on Twitter or uh, hang out um, with me at my Twitch stream. Uh, those links will be down below. Um, let me know in the comments what you thought about uh, the video this week, what you thought about the deck, um, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good one.